This next young lady's career is really on the rise, and she's very ambitious. She said to me, she said, by 1989, I want an Oscar, a Grammy, a Tony, and an Emmy. And in addition to four kids, she also hopes her career goes well. Let's welcome the wonderful Miss Marsha Warfield. Marsha. Good evening, good evening. How come ain't nobody asked, who the fuck is Uncle Ray? <laughs> you know you famous when you can get your uncle in show business. <laughs> I love show business. I love black people. Yeah. I, do. I do, it's great to be black nowadays. That's right. <laughs> it is. This is the best country in the world to be poor, too. It is. We got poor people in, the, in this country, but, you know, it ain't but so bad. I mean, we got fat, bad people. <laughs> we do. It ain't like Ethiopia. <laughs> See, in this country, people be talking about they hungry because they ain't ate in a while. <laughs> in Ethiopia, they talk about, we have never ate. <laughs> we would like some food. But it's great. We have We Are the World. That was great. USA for Africa. We are, that was a good song. I liked it the first two, three million times I heard it. <laughs> and it started to piss me off. <laughs> they raised all that money. And they sent them people some wheat. <laughs> some wheat. Why would you send wheat to the desert? They ain't got no water. <laughs> you ever tried to eat some dry fucking wheat? <laughs> His whole family's going, no thanks, we'd rather starve. <laughs> but they have been great things for black people, like I said. Thank you very much. <laughs> we had uh, two black Miss Americas. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me proud. After that, they picked Miss Utah. Yeah. It's a long way to go to make a point, don't you think? <laughs> I'm glad we had a Miss America named Vanessa, though. Because I was tired of people named Becky Sue. <laughs> Nancy and shit. We had a Vanessa. It's almost like having a president named Darnell. <laughs> or Jesse. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I like Jesse, but the news media mispronounces his title. Yeah. They always want to call him Reverend. And that's not right. It's Reverend. Reverend Jackson. <laughs> and he has a church. <laughs> and a choir. <laughs> That's why he didn't win. Nobody knew what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> Except those of us who went to Baptist church. I grew up in the Baptist church. I find that some people go to church just to talk about other people. <laughs> you know the ones I mean. Everybody else is sitting there singing and praying and asking for stuff. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> These people are sitting in the back, though, talking about, Girl, <laughs> look at that fat bitch. <laughs> she can sing, though, can't she? Now that's the only reason they let fat people go to church. <laughs> Makes the choir look bigger. <laughs> it's not nice to talk about fat people. Let's talk about ugly people. <laughs> ugly people piss me off. <laughs> I like ugly men, though. I do. 
I know. I said that because I noticed that a couple of you feel the same way. <laughs> you have to like ugly men, though, if you want to go out. <laughs> Plus, they won't take no for an answer. They're the most persistent people on earth. They follow you around and ask you stupid questions like, well, what's the matter with me? <laughs> Mister, I don't have time to tell you all the things that are the matter with you, <laughs> but let's start with that checkered bell-bottom suit. <laughs> Could it be nice if you had some tea? <laughs> and that scratching don't help at all. And they always say the stupidest thing, but I got some money. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have that much money. <laughs> but I am a basketball fan. I am a basketball. I'm a Laker fan. Yeah. I have this fantasy. just want to climb Magic Johnson. Just get to the top and sit there. to say things to the press like interview him now <laughs> still everybody drink up this shit is a lot funnier when you're drunk <laughs> you lose control of little things too when you're drinking like I find if you're drunk it becomes impossible to whisper <laughs> what I peed on myself But I don't advocate the use of drugs, uh, believe me. I don't. Uh, I'm right now a recovering cocaine abuser, <laughs> as are some of you. <laughs> <laughs> some people lie. They say they don't do it no more, but you know they're lying. <laughs> you can tell because every time they go to pay somebody, their $20 bills keep rolling up. You know who you are. Why do men name their penises? Or peni, as the case may be. You know what I mean, peni, penum, penito. <laughs> Why do they name them? They say things like, well, Bobby's awake. <laughs> You never hear women saying things like, I'm sitting on Margaret. <laughs> Buffy can't play. <laughs> Fifi's sick. <laughs> Another myth is that black men are bigger. <laughs> I always feel like E.F. Hutton when I say that. <laughs> Take my word for it, though. Black men are no bigger than anybody else. Black women are smaller. <laughs> Plus, to tell you the truth, if it's too big, <laughs> keep it the hell away from me, okay? <laughs> that shit hurts. And men that are too big for you have strange logic, don't they? They quote strange things out of books, like, well, it says here, women can stretch to accommodate a baby. I don't want to have one every time I see you. 